59,448. That is how many layoffs have happened in 2023. And it's only January 25th. That is over 2,300 per day. Some of the layoff emails were sent at 3 a.m. Some were just simply locked out. Imagine being at Google for two decades and getting fired via email. I wanted to take some time and talk about these layoffs and try to give you the best advice I have. Because the reality is that some of you that are listening have been laid off. Some of you are worried about your current job. And some of you are just getting started in tech and thinking, what am I getting myself into? I can't help but to think, what if that was me? What if I was the one being laid off? What would it be like coming home to my beautiful wife, my four kids, and like having to talk through that, having to think about the potential life changes? Because I am a remote worker. It's not as easy. So I have three thoughts I want to go over. First, ask yourself, where are all the jobs at? Where is all the growth at? One of the most hireable skills right now that is just flooding the field is JavaScript and React. Whether you like it or not, that is just a reality. But it's not the only reality. Don't get lost on Twitter with that. You can make other paths if you want to, but this is just the simplest one for to get employed which immediately goes into advice to what makes you different. I just want you to take a second and imagine with me that you're the hiring manager. You have 20 applications on the desk. Each one of them say, I am familiar with JavaScript. I am familiar with React. I have built this. I have built that. I have done this. They're all the same. They're all the same. They're all one language Andes without any experience in anything other than React. How do you make yourself different? Can you talk deeply about Node? Can you talk shop about Infra? Do you have other languages that you know? Are you proficient in Go, Python, Rust? Do you have experience running the Chrome performance tools? Do you have any sort of experience debugging memory issues? Or commits on popular open source libraries? In other words, how do you show you have more value than just another UI engineer? That you are one of those engineers that everyone wants to hire. An engineer that is curious. And the third thing I want to tell you is be prepared for tomorrow. I see a lot of people who are just running a life of mini maxing, right? They do what they minimally can at a job so they can maximize what they get out of it. And that's that. That's all they want to do. But the reality is those that are pricked by curiosity, that are driven by determination, those that are researching new ways to solve problems, keeping up with what is changing, those are the ones that are going to weather this storm significantly better. Because the reality is the people that are in positions that you want to work in, that are working on tech that you want to work in, it's almost never by accident. It is the sum of small decisions over time. So ask yourself, what language is going to be popular for the next 10 years? What tech is going to make you really hireable over the next few years? Or just learn something you want to work in someday if you have the time. If you're interested in compilers, become great at them. And just a little bonus piece of advice, interviewing is a skill. Practice it. Experience is what people hire for. Earn it. Be the developer that you want to work with. You know, we've all had that developer that when you ask them questions, they just know so many things. They are ex making you excited about tech. They have just this passion, this desire, and they give you great advice. You can be that person too. Thanks for watching this. I think YouTube wants you to subscribe and YouTube also has a video of mine that they think you're going to like, okay? They're a really impressive AI and they, they just, they know. So just click it. Made by me, just for you. Ugh. The name is the Primogen.